Financially fit people are avid readers and constantly invest or consistently rather invest in themselves by increasing their financial leadership, education, skills, experience, knowledge, and ability. So I'm a true believer of reading every day. I read every day, at least 10 pages, uh, not just because 75 hard, which is a, a mental fitness challenge that I do pretty much year round, take breaks off. So I try to do the, the entire live hard series. If you don't know what that is, go to 75hard.com. 75hard.com. If you can text that in the chat, Chastney, 75hard.com. Um, it says you need to read 10 pages every day of a personal development book, which could be financial fitness. That is a development book helping you with your finances, leadership book, biography, self-help, sales training, and audio doesn't count. Now, audio is good, audible, but you actually have to read it. And so I read every single day. Today, I'm, I've read 10 pages, 15 pages in my Tesla book. I'm learning about the history of Tesla, which is very fascinating. I also started reading this, and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish this book. The reason I, I started it was because I forgot my book at home, and I'm doing 75 hard. So a friend that I stayed at her house, she gave that to me to read it. And then I also read every day this uh, Stoic book on how to be Stoic, and it's little clips that were written by Marcus Aurelius 2,000 plus years ago on how to be a good leader and a good person. Sto it's called Stoic, uh, Stoism, Stoicism or Stoic, I don't know, but it's How to Be a Stoic by uh, Marcus Aurelius. And so I read every day. So financially fit people should read. People that want to get better, to achieve more, to max out their life, read every day. And so I encourage you to read every single day. And 10 pages is a good amount. For most people, it's less than 10 minutes. Um, for me, it used to be a bit longer. And you know, I've, I've been reading since I was a kid, not so much in high school. I read what I was required to read primarily because I was working full time during high school because I, you know, I moved out of my mom's house, my stepdad's house when I was 15 years old. So I had to work uh, starting at 15 for food. And then when I was a senior in high school, I had my own apartment. I bought my whole, my own house when I was a senior in high school. And so um, I didn't get to read as much as I wanted to, but since then I've read hundreds and hundreds of books, constantly reading. Financially fit people read. And so I think you should too.